All right, yeah, we're on. Oh, go ahead. All right, uh, Shalom, Shalom, Makim. Uh, first and foremost, to all honors, glories, and praises. To Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechakurash. Uh, double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Uh, salutations uh, to the elect Akim uh, across the globe that are doing the work in truth and in sincerity and in charity. Salutations to the few sincere Aqua that are watching. All right. This is Daniel Abo. Yeah, I'm Nawala. And the brother Rapaya. Here from the Chicago camp. All right. It's, uh, you know, Sunday. All right. You know, April. Uh, Still, what uh, March? You know, 31st, yeah. the year of uh, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, man. But uh, basically, I um, want to do a lesson, you know, basically on uh, bearing uh, uh, the Lord's indignation, you know. And this is inspired uh, by my grandpa. All right, um, um, you know, he's in the spirit world now, but I just remember him uh, 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 telling me and my mother, you know, because. Uh, he was living alone in, uh, in, uh, in uh, by himself in Mexico, you know, catching hell. And my mom would always tell him, hey, come live with us, come with, live with us. And he would be like, nah, you know, hey, the Lord uh, uh, wants me here. This is my destination. That's, that's, this is how he wants it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay here and die. You know, don't, don't, don't worry about me, you know, and just, you know, you know, keep doing you, you know. But, uh, you know, it kind of reminded me when he said that, you know, it reminded me of, you know, the, the scripture in Micah, if you can get it. Yeah, I got it right here. Uh -huh. This is the book of Micah, chapter 7, verse 9. Uh -huh. I will bear the indignation of the Lord Yahweh uh -huh. because I have sinned against him. And yeah, man, um, yeah, we got to bear the, uh, the indignation of Yahweh because we sinned against him, man. You know, we all fucked up, man. In our past life, in this lifetime, you know, we all fucked up. And hey, the Lord... Uh, <laughs> Brought us into captivity, and here we are, man, in our captivity here in America, man, catching hell, man, all types of hell, man. You know, whether it be financially, you know, not, not, not your family leaving you, you know, hey, Jake is suffering, you know, especially in this truth, man, we, we're catching hell, man. But hey, we got to bear the Lord's indignation, man, you know. All right, um, we deserve it, man, and we deserve more, man. We deserve death, man, you know. Yeah, and everything the Lord uh, put, puts on, on our plate, man, we got to bear it, man. You know, and they best believe, man, when you come into this truth, man, each and every single one of you, you know, all of us brothers, we're going to go through something in our walk of life, man, you know. Well, it tells you that in Timothy where, uh, uh, let me just grab it real quick and I'll, and I'll come back okay. to, okay. to this. Yeah. Um, and it also says it in uh, Isaiah 59, okay. you know, that we've become a prey, mm. you know, but this is Second Timothy 3 and 12. Yeah. And all that will live godly in Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, shall suffer persecution. So okay. we're, we're going to suffer one way or another. You know, it also says in uh, Acts 14, 22, it says, Through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom. God. So this ain't a walk in the park. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Like, we're going to go through some things, all right? Because it's part of our punishment. All right, we're, we're you know, America means bitter. So we're yeah. here to suffer, That's you right. see? And, and and just deal with the indignation of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai because what we've sinned against him, right? Until he plead my this is back in Micah <laughs> seven and nine. I will read it over. I will bear the indignation of Yahweh because I have sinned against him. Uh -huh. So we gotta acknowledge our sins. Yep. All right, like King David, you know, we gotta acknowledge our sins that we went off. Until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, uh -huh. he will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. So we have to humble ourselves in the sight of Yahweh Bashim mm -hmm. And in due time, He will exalt us, mm -hmm. you see? But yeah. we have to be His delight. We got to do the things that He is pleased in, you see? Okay. And, and, yeah. and Yahweh Shai is that blueprint, mm -hmm. all right? The way we should be walking, mm -hmm. you know? Because uh, um, I got another scripture, if I may. This is First Peter 2. And kind of, hey, this, uh, this is temporary, man, you know, this punishment, man, you know, um, you know, we're not going to be like this forever, man. You know, hey, uh, right now we're under the curses, man. But, hey, we got to bear the Lord the indignation. And pretty soon, hey, we're going to be under the blessings, man. You know, we're going to be a blessed nation once once again, man. You know? Yeah, since you said that, I had to get this one, man. This is Isaiah chapter 54, verse 7. For a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. In a little wrath, I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee, saith Yahweh, thy Redeemer. All right. 
So, hey, man, the, the Lord had to whip our ass. You see, we're his children. He loves us. Uh, I mean, w w what father will not discipline his son? You know, so if, it, if, if that's the case, that, then you really hate your son. The Lord loves us. So, hey, he's giving us that ass whooping to get right. All right, because, hey, we represent him. All right, we're, we're made in his image. You see, and he gave us laws, statutes, commandments that we should live by. All right, it's a covenant, an agreement that we have to uh, uphold. And we're the ones that fell short. We broke it. The Lord's been 100% the whole time, you know what I'm saying? And that was part of his agreement. If you, uh, um, you know, you know, basically break the law, statutes, and commandments, these curses shall fall upon you. You know, that'll be your punishment. And that's what we're suffering today. So we have to bear it, you know? Uh, Eight and five. Eight and five. This is Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 5. Thou shalt also consider in thy heart that as a man chasteneth his son, so the Lord thy power chasteneth thee. And if you have a child, man, and he's going off, man, he's being rebellious, man, hey, if you really love him, man, you're going to chastise him, man. Rebuke him so he can get on point, so he doesn't do the same mistake anymore, man. The same thing uh, with the Lord, man, you know, hey, we're the Lord's children, man, you know. You know, uh, uh, you know, as Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, we, we're the Lord's children, and hey, we went off as a nation, man. Hey, so hey, the, the Lord uh, 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 is uh, chastising us right now, man, hey, uh, in, in, our, in our captivity, man. You know, this is this is a punishment, man. It, it's it's a lear learning lesson, man. All right, go ahead. Verse six. Therefore, those shall keep the commandments of the Lord, thy power to walk in His ways and to fear Him. God, and hey, uh, we got to keep uh, the Lord's uh, commandments, man. You know, uh, you know, and uh, you know, our, our people are uh, are wicked, man. They're they're out. It's Easter today. All right, they're out here picking eggs and stuff, man. Hey, the Lord ain't with that, man. You know, that's why hey, the Lord's about to uh, bring uh, Jacob's trouble, man. All right, you know, and the Lord's gonna put the whipping stick on on Jacob, man. Because Jake is just lost, man. They're worshiping idols. They're, they're going off, man, and, and sin. But hey, the, the Lord, the Lord's about to put the whipping stick, man, on, on, on this rebe rebellious Jake. Man. Yeah, and you know, as, and speaking as a father too, like uh, like Eli and his two sons. His two yeah. sons were going off, but he didn't do anything yeah. about it. And the Lord so the Lord him, took yeah. him out too. You uh, see, uh -huh. so mm. you you know you you should not suffer sin upon your your neighbor unto oh. your brother. Oh. All right. Uh, uh, so the Lord's just correcting us, man. This is for our good. You know what I'm saying? You had a scripture right now? Uh, yeah. It's Go ahead. Bar book of Baruch chapter 6. And um, okay. what's the one I called out for? You said chapter 4. Oh, it's 4. Okay. And verse, right? uh, yeah, I think it was 7. Or... Sorry, verse 5 you started? Oh, verse 5. Yeah. yeah. Damn. It's the book of uh, Baruch chapter 4 and verse 5. Or 8, so like you said. Yeah, you know, go, oh, up, yeah, to, five. Oh, go yeah. up to four because uh, we're talking to Israel, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians today, and also those speckled birds, the Israelite foreigners. All right, this Bible is for us. You see, no, nobody else. Go ahead. So, Baruch chapter four and verse four. Oh, Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to God are made known unto us. Be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved uh, uh, to you moved God the Most High to wrath. You were delivered unto uh, the enemies. All right, and uh, all these nations uh, took part uh, in putting us into, into into slavery, man. All right, and it's ultimately the the, the Lord. That, that, that did that unto us, man. He let these nations uh, put us into captivity, man. Because, hey, we, we, we sinned against the Lord, man. And, hey, the Lord, Yahweh, man, he, he's a jealous power, man. You know? Um, and, hey, uh, it's kind of like when uh, you got your girl, man, and uh, you see her uh, flirting and talking with other guys, man. How, how are you going to feel, man? You're going to get jealous. You're going to get mad, man. Mm -hmm. All right? And same thing with the Lord, man. The Lord saw Israel... You know, his women talking with uh, these uh, these false gods and stuff. So, hey, the, the, the Lord, hey, put the curses upon us. And, hey, he let these nations uh, jack us up, man. Yeah. All right. Um, you've sold the, to the nations not for your destruction. But because you moved the Most High to wrath, you were delivered unto your enemies. For you provoked him that 
made you by sacrificing unto devils and not uh, uh, to God. All right, and hey, to this day, man, our people are uh, sacrificing unto devils, man, unto these idols. It's Easter, so-called Easter today, man, and our people are in these churches, man, uh, bound down uh, to, to Serapis Christus, man, Jeebus, man. All right, and the Lord don't like that, man. All right, um, ye have forgotten the everlasting God that bought you up, and have grieved Jerusalem that that, that nursed you, and they are people forgot uh, about Yahweh Bashmal Shai, man. You know, hey, Yahweh Bashmal Shai, you know, uh, bought us out of uh, ca captivity out of Egypt, man. All right, he, you know, he fed us manna in the wilderness, man. All right, and hey. <laughs> The, the Lord uh, um, and, and, and Israel still uh, still uh, rebelled against the Lord and started serving idols, man. All right, so hey, the Lord jacked us up, man. All right, um, go on, skip down to. Saw the last one. Verse. Uh, oh, you said eighteen. Verse eighteen. 18. Yeah, eighteen. Uh, for he that bought these plagues upon you will deliver you from the hands. Of your enemies, all right, and um, hey, the Lord put these uh, put these curses upon us, all right. But hey, uh, the Lord's also uh, uh, gonna deliver us from the hands of our enemies, man. All right, He's gonna deliver His elect, man, from from, from this captivity, man, all right. Because the Scripture says in what the Second Ezra, uh, uh, Second Ezra, I believe, chapter sixteen, man, uh, they shall destroy the, the houses of those that. Uh, fear uh, Yahweh Bashima I roughly paraphrase Yeah man? Like madmen like, Sparing none uh, yeah, You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying Best believe that hey, Esau's coming uh, hey, Esau's keeping tab Tabs on us The FBI's watching us Alright but hey uh, But hey The Lord's gonna deliver us From our enemy man Alright um, yeah. Hey it says in Isaiah uh, 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 The enemy should come in As a flood Right but uh, I will roughly paraphrase it, like, uh, but, I hey, got it I, I'll uh, read it for you God. This is Isaiah chapter 59 Uh huh Right. One second, this. Let me get my other app. This is Isaiah 59 and 19. Let me just pop, pop it up. Yeah. So shall they mm -hmm. fear the name of the Lord Yahweh from the west, from the west, and His glory from the rising of the sun. God. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord Yahweh shall lift up a standard against mm -hmm. him. God. And in verse 20, and the Redeemer. Yahweh Shai shall come to Zion and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob, saith Yahweh. You see, so hey, the Lord's coming back that uh, to those uh, to rescue and deliver those that worship the, the Father in spirit and in truth, okay. and Yahweh Shai, because we have to honor the Father and the Son. Uh -huh. You see, so we have to turn back. That's why we're giving you that warning. Uh -huh. All right, we're suffering. We know why we're suffering. It's because we sinned. Against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, so we gotta bear this indignation, man. Uh, all right, and it's uh, less less than uh, our iniquities deserve. Uh, all right, so hey, just deal with it, man. Right, all right, because Yahweh <laughs> Shai, he he got slaughtered, man, like a lamb. He didn't open his mouth. He didn't revile back. Okay, he just took it. He understand the will of the Father Yahweh. All right, so now knowing and un understanding the Lord, like in Jeremiah nine. All right, hey, we have to do the same thing again. Yahweh Shai is the blueprint. We gotta deal with this shit, man. Uh, all right, your family is gonna be against you. All right, you're gonna lose your woman. You're gonna lose uh, your children. Uh, all right. Now, if you do have a wife, you know what I'm saying that is pleased to dwell with you. That's a blessing, you know. Uh, all right, that, that's a gift from the Lord. You see, but hey, if if, if the if you come into the truth and the Lord uh, takes away your wife, don't chase after her, man. That was a damn the dragon the Lord removed from your life. Yeah. You see. You gotta understand the bigger picture. This place is temporary. All right, this is not our place of rest. All right, we we seek a continuous city, the kingdom of heaven. All right, the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. You see, so just know and understand that, and, and stand firm, and, and be built in this faith and trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because it's only the Lord that's going to be able to deliver us in these last days during Jacob's trouble. It's only the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that's going to keep us from that hour of temptation, because that's coming upon the whole world. All right, that's the times that we're living in is the end, you see? And that's why we must abide in the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know? Go ahead. Yeah, um, skipping down to verse... Uh, you read 18? Yeah, yeah, I think it was 28 you wanted. 28, uh, you're, okay. you're buying yeah, straight? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Verse 20, uh, Baruch uh, 4 and 27, Be a good comfort, O my children, and cry unto the Most High. For ye shall be remembered of him yeah. that bought these things upon you. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek him ten times more, man. And yeah, man, um, we were in the world once upon a time, man. And hey, we were, we were enemies of the, of the Lord, man. You know, when we were in the world, man. But now, hey, the Lord uh, woke us up, brought us into this truth, man. And hey, we got to seek Yahweh uh, Bashimasha ten times more, man. With all our mind, with all our heart, man. With all our soul, man. This has got to be our number one priority, man. Serving Yahweh Bashimasha and doing His will, man. All right? You know, doing what we got to do, man. <laughs> uh, to, to hasten the day, man. Hey, for, for our salvation, man. All right? We got to seek the uh, Lord ten times more, man. Hey, we need Yahweh Bashimasha, man. Yeah. You know, who's going to deliver us from uh, East, the hands of Esau Edom, man? Who's going to deliver us from America, man? We can't deliver ourselves, man. So, hey, we got to lean upon you. How about Shemel Shai, man? That's the only uh, power that, that can be able to deliver us from these uh, uh, times of trouble that we're coming into, man, from, from our enemy, man. You know? So, hey, it could come back unto the Lord, man, hey, for, for salvation, man. Oh, yeah, go for it, This is uh, 1 John chapter 1. Verse eight, and uh, basically, uh, I just want to back up the brother. You know, we all we all fucked up. You know, we we all uh, sinned against Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. But hey, you know, the Lord, he uh, he died on that cross so that he can be made as a, a proper propitiation for our iniquities. And what in that one that one scriptures it says, uh, now uh, seeking ten times more. I think yeah, he just read it. Uh, yeah. Baruch four twenty eight. Yeah, yeah, you got it. But yeah, here's uh, First John chapter 1 verse 8 if we say that we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us yep. if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us uh, from all unrighteousness and yeah you know the lord was made uh, as an appropriation for our iniquities but what you know israel kept going up but the, hey the lord still has mercy upon israel you know the, the lord uh, has mercy upon his elect so as a as an elect man you know a man of the lord and we're supposed to be seeking the Lord ten times more. All right. Verse ten: If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and the word is not in us. So yeah, you know, well, we're all worthy of death, you know. But hey, you know, the Lord has mercy on us. All right. So uh, that, that just goes to show you that you know we we have to take our responsibility. We have to take um, accountability. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Good. Uh, can I back you up? This is, this is Isaiah 55 and 3, right to the point. Incline your ear mm -hmm. and come unto me. Hear, and your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. You see, so we have to acknowledge our sins. All right. And we have to turn back to the Lord. All right. And understand what he delights in and, and walk that path. All right. And, and, and when you come to this thing, like Isaiah 59 and 15 says, we, you become a prey, all right? So the whole world will be against you, man. You're going to have a target on your back, all right? But you must abide in the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh so you could be dwelling in the secret place of the Lord, all right? Because it's, it's of the Lord uh, protecting us. It's of the Lord giving charge to his angels to encamp around us and deliver us, you see? And then the Lord see you sees you dealing in these small matters. Hey, when the when the time of trouble that's coming, like like that's never been before, Jacob's trouble. Hey, the Lord is surely gonna save you, man, and deliver you, man, because He's tried you out during these times. All right, you know what I'm saying. So this is this is the time where we have to get right, because hey, the doors of mercy are are closing. All right. And soon it's just going to be straight judgment, man. Right. And you, you know, we're praying Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to pass over us, man, and spare us and preserve His remnant. You see, because we are um, that we're that generation that seeks His face. This is a uh, uh, Psalms, the Book of Psalms, chapter twenty-four, verse six. This is the generation of them that seek Him, that seek Thy face, O Jacob, Salah. You see, we're that remnant. All right. That are waiting and, and, and patiently enduring, uh, you know, suffering, all right, to receive the promises, man. You see, because mm -hmm. hey, who else is is, is you know uh, calling and worshiping and serving Yahweh Bashim oh, You know, and, and oh. everybody else is on Easter time right now, man. Oh. Not knowing it's the Passover. You know what I'm saying? The the feast of unleavened bread, oh. you know, ended you know Best yesterday at, at sundown. 
all right but you know this is recent this is the times that we're in they, they don't even acknowledge it you see so you know having this uh, uh understanding all right we're sealed uh, uh with that spirit and that earnest down payment man all right and what does that mean that means that we have to put on as the elect man all right we have to offend less and we have to do better you know what i'm saying every day that you get up is a great day to be in this truth man the God. Lord's giving us opportunity to do better every day. He renews his mercies every day. And we, you know, we, we put on that new man every day. And the old right. man dies every day, you see? Uh -huh. While well, we get refined into the image of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So when the Father looks down upon us, he sees his sons, man. Right. All right. He has no, man, let me just get this real quick. I have no greater joy. This is uh, the third book of John. <laughs> I love this scripture, man. <laughs> This is uh, the third book of John, chapter 1, verse 4. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. You right. see? And Yahweh Shai is our mediator, all right? All right uh, speaking on our behalf to the Father. Like, no, don't take them out of the, the, Lord, uh, the world, Lord, but keep them in it. You know what I'm saying? Protect them, all right? These are the ones that you have given me, and I have lost none, you see? So knowing this, hey, we got to be bold, like the Scripture says, man. All right? Because this place is going down. And these damn devils, these two-thirds, these heathens, they, they can't do a damn thing to us, man. Because it's the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, protecting us and delivering us. And this is the only way out. There's no other way. You see? So whatever you're suffering right now, hey, it's only for a moment. It's right. temporary. Okay. It's not forever. All right? The kingdom of heaven is at hand. So That's repent, right. man. Uh, Lamentations. Uh, oh, Three? think so uh, yeah yeah 339 yeah 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 captivity which one? Oh no uh, uh, i know what you're talking about chapter 4 uh -huh. uh, verse 21 and 22 yeah. what is 339 well this is 3 and 39 lamentations 3 and 39 uh -huh. uh, oh no 30 i'm gonna start at 38 because uh -huh. what are we doing like you about your grandfather like uh -huh. no this is you know the lord has me here well, i'm gonna deal with this right uh -huh. so we have to understand why we're in this position uh -huh. at the bottom all of our people you know um uh -huh. uh, Lamentations 3 and 38 Out of the mouth of the Most High proceedeth not evil and good It's a question like Don't both come from him? You see? Because he's in control of both Both sides Verse 39 Wherefore does a living man complain? A man for the punishment of his sins You see? So we shouldn't be complaining man We have to acknowledge that Hey we fucked up Like you said You know what I'm saying? We fucked up So this, this is our punishment Hey I know Um you know, growing up, if, if if I didn't do my certain chores that my father told me to do, you know, I'm, huh. I'm going to get rebuked or I'm yeah. going to get that ass whooped. You know uh. what I'm saying? And th that's what the Lord is doing to us now, man. All right? And and this this is uh, uh, for our betterment. All right? This ain't no hate. This is actually love that he's correcting us, man. Because there's two-thirds out here that are not getting corrected. They're, they're living in that prosperity doctrine in America, thinking they're going places. All right? And no, the Lord is going to destroy their ass, you see? So when you come to this truth, you you will be brought low, man. You will be humbled, man. But take it cheerfully, man. You see? Because only for a moment. And Yahweh Shai did the same before honor is humility, you know? He grabbed what he wanted, the Lamentations 4, 21, 22. There's uh, Lamentations chapter 4, verse 22. The oh, tw oh, no, 21, because we got to talk about Esau, all right? Go ahead. All right. Lamentations 4 and 21. Mm -hmm. Rejoice and be be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. Uh -huh. The cup also shall pass through unto thee, and thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. Uh -huh. Right. So we're getting that ass whooping now. Uh -huh. But that doesn't mean that Esau is going to get away with it. Uh -huh. All right. He's not in trouble like other men. Right now, he's prospering because it's his fucking kingdom. Uh -huh. All right. But guess what? Judgment's coming for him. He's going to get punished. The Lord's going to deal with his ass. You see? Right. He's not getting away. None shall escape you. How about Shemiah Shai? Right. You see? Go ahead. Verse 22. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. And hey, this is... Uh, oh, just, a more, just a little more. Oh, he will discover thy sins. Uh, and yeah, man, they are... Uh, it says uh, what uh, the, our, uh, uh, our captivities uh, uh, accomplished, yeah. you know. Yeah. So hey, this is the, the the last captivity, man. You know, you know. And after that, we're gonna be in the kingdom of heaven, and hey, uh, the tables are gonna turn, man. Esau's gonna be the one uh, working for us, man. 
he's gonna be the one in change. Hey, we're gonna be hit him uh, with with the bar of iron, man. All right, you know, hey, it's gonna be Esau's turn to, to go into captivity, man. Go ahead. Oh, oh no, that was, was the end of the time. chapter right there. Oh, yeah. yeah, man. Hey, it's, it's the last captivity, man. You know, and hey, we gotta um, uh, bear the Lord's indignation, man. All right, then he'll bring us forth to the light, man. You know, exactly. Just, just see his, uh, oh man, I got one for you yeah. since you said that. Since you said that, man. Sorry. Um, How you doing, bro? Um, one second, sorry, let me just get it. Um, I think it's in Baruch. Damn, oh man, hold on one second. I know we were trying to end this. I'm sorry. Um, it's just a. Yes, Holloway out the Wadi Habashmo Shai. Man, okay. This is the, the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 24. Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they surely, I'm sorry, so shall they see surely your salvation from our God, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. Verse 25 My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from God. For thine enemy has persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. All right, so we got to suffer patiently these things, man. All right, because guess what? Hey, Esau's uh, destruction is our salvation, and everyone's going to fucking see it, man. Because the Lord's going to be glorified. His name is going to be magnified to the four corners of the earth. All right, and, and this, this salvation is going to outshine Egypt. All right, tells you that in Jeremiah 16. 16 yeah. So, hey, deal with it a little bit longer because that's yeah. all Esau has. The yeah. Lord set his bounds that he cannot pass. Right. You see? So, hey, we're going to the kingdom of heaven soon, man. Right. And every eye shall see Yahweh Bashim Yahweh All right? Because the Lord's coming, man. Our Lord liveth, and we're going to see him with our own eyes, man. I can't wait. You see? Yeah. But, uh, I, I got, I got one. All right, let's bring it up, brother. Swing that sword. Hell yeah. This is uh, Lamentations chapter 1, verse 20. Behold, O Lord, for mm -hmm. I am in. I am in distress. Uh -huh. My bowels are troubled. And my heart is turned within me. Uh -huh. For I have grievously rebelled abroad. The sword bereaveth at home. There is as death. Uh -huh. They have heard that I sigh. There is none to comfort me. Uh -huh. All my enemies have heard of my trouble. They are glad. But thou has done it. Uh -huh. Thou will bring the day that thou has called. And they shall be like unto me. And so basically, uh -huh. you know... Um, you know, right, right now, you know, it, it, the nation of Israel, all right, we're, we're, we're suffering punishment because of our iniquities, all right? But, hey, like, like again, you know, uh, that's uh, that's just for a moment, you know, that's just uh, temporary. But soon, you know, you, you know, the, the, the Lord is going to punish me. Turn, slack it. The Lord is going to punish these heathen nations and Esau, right? The tables will soon be turned. That's right. Verse 22, let all their wickedness come before thee and do unto them as thou hast done unto me for all my transgressions. For I, for my signs are many and my heart is faint. And yeah, you know, the Lord, uh, you know, uh, sent these heathen nations all right, to oppress us. But hey, you know, soon, like again, the table is going to turn to where we're going to be the head and Esau and all these other heathen nations are going to be the tail. Yeah, hopefully it was uh, edifying uh, video for the hopeful righteous elect man and hey uh, we gotta bear the Lord's indignation man till he plead our cause and uh, bring us forth to the light man you know the lesson inspired by my grandpa man um with all that um Call honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect Akim and salutations to the few sincere aqua. Till next time, Shalom. Shalom. Kwam Yashralam.